Hey, I'm Clover. Welcome to my channel. This is episode three of a series where I try to be as self-sufficient in Stardew Valley as possible. The earlier episodes are linked in the card on the right if you missed one, and the full rules are in the description below if you would like a refresher. So last episode, pretty much nothing went to plan, and I was left with under a day to complete one of the quests I am required to do by my rules. So this episode is going to start out with a bit of a desperate rush to the mines to try to get enough ores for Clint and back to him before he locks up for the night, um, and then we'll see where it goes. I have some general plans and goals for this, but first I want to try to get this quest done, or I will completely forget I need to do it. So if I can complete this quest, it's going to work great for my general plan this episode though, because I really need money. I still want to go try to complete the barn I was working for last time, which cost 6,000 gold, so I'm not that far off, because cows and milk, and especially the cheese I can make from them, will be a massive source of income for me to complete the vault, get to the desert, and finally try to find all of the other seeds I need in Skull Caverns. But trust me, I have been reading all of your comments, and I suppose I'll go the backpack upgrade first. If you think that will stop us all from getting upset and yelling at the screen when I have to miss Amethyst again, though, you are far more hopeful than I am. I have no trust in my ability to not be a loot goblin. Other than that, though, this episode I want to keep working on friendships, especially with Caroline and Jody. Let's see, I need 12 more copper. It's not that many copper, it shouldn't be that. Ooh, crab. Guess who just remembered they chose not to bring food. Um, oh, thanks for the food. This really is a good luck day. We've gotten food, bombs, attacks. You know, all the normal things are good luck. I don't know. Aha, I gathered enough ores. That took no time at all. And time to go talk to Clint. Hi, Maru. Do you like quartz? Yes. Ooh, another quest. Can I do this quest? Bread snapper. Cool. So let's go buy the backpack while I'm here. So let's go talk to Clint and then go fishing. Bread snapper shouldn't be that hard to catch. I say like I don't consistently fail to get sardines. This is probably too late to catch a red snapper, but you never know. Well, I'm sure some of you know. For the amount of time I spend on the wiki trying to this series, you would think I would also be willing to go check it when I need to, but things like checking the timing of fish and what gifts people like or their schedule really just... It's going to interrupt me doing things in-game. That's not worth it. Tomorrow is still going to be all fishing. My first wheat is done! I need to save that, because there's that one bundle that needs approximately 5 billion, I think it's 100, flour. Now I need to save you. So let's put my poppy in this, along with the wheat and hay. Vincent likes you, and that's a popular gift. So I'm going to sell only the crayfish and give the rest of these as gifts on my way to fishing. Ooh, mushrooms! That's nice, thank you! I am thinking random chance in this game. My name's Clover. My icon is a four-leaf clover. If I weren't fond of luck, what would I be doing? Claw! Present time! Ooh, another quest already? Ooh, killing six frost jellies, that'll be super easy. So we'll do fishing today, I only need three, and then tomorrow we'll go kill frost jellies all day. Hello, would you like a hot pepper? Oh, it's one of his favorites, yes! How fast can I catch three red snappers? And even more broken CDs. Okay, but unlike the broken glasses, I understand the percentage of broken CDs in this game. Watch me not be able to catch red snappers at all. I definitely feel like I've missed something incredibly obvious. Well, I'm very sorry, Willy, but I gave your quest the absolute best chance of success I could, and it failed because you went to bed. At least I made a whole lot of money from all of these fish. Oh, hi, Emily. Morning. I'm recording this at 11 p.m. What on earth am I going to go to the luau? Only one seed. Oh well. 
at least I can plant it right away again. Now to put you two away for safekeeping. We need to go redeem ourselves for the failure of the fish by killing frost jellies and getting back to Mayor Lewis in time. This is one of the scrolls I need. A coffee bean! Okay, now I need to go talk to Lewis. Where is Mayor Lewis? He's not in here. Is he down here? He is not down here. Not in there. Why would you like a pretty shell? Hi, I finally found you. So the next major problem. What do I bring to the luau? I could bring a radish, I have two of them. So I could spare one. Or I could try to fish up something to bring. Let's see if I can do that. All of my forage is done. And my first ancient fruit. And like some of you suggested, I'm going to turn the worst of these into more wild seeds so that I can continue to get that XP. Say hi to my animals. Hey, Cater. Hi, Rosemary. And head to the luau. Let's see. I'll add the radish. You know what? I'll take average. It could have been a lot worse. I have some energy. I might as well clear my farm. Level 6 foraging! Yes, I need that lightning rod recipe. And a storm is approaching, so start out by getting my lightning rods. What do I need for lightning rods? I have refined quartz, I just need to smelt up some more iron, and I can make however many I want, really. Now let's do a row of lightning rods over here. Close to the farm, but not in it. Do I have enough materials for a barn? Even if I do have enough, it wouldn't hurt to clear the farm. There's still some time in the day. Let's go into town, see if there's any more quests, if I can find any more forage, and give out some gifts. Forage, 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 forage. Hi, Leah, do you want a sweet pea? Hi, Vincent, do you want a snail? Would you like a sweet pea? Would you like a sweet pea? Yes. And there's a quest. Marnie wants to give her cows tomato. I'm sorry, Marnie, I cannot physically do this. I do not have any tomatoes. That was a very productive use of my flowers. And I got my reward for killing enough cave insects. The insect head sword. I'm going to be wildly optimistic and begin to set up another area for and now run to get back to bed in time. <gasps> I got an achievement! I am so close to having enough money. I bet tomorrow we will. And my first hops! And you know what? It's a rainy day. Let's go mining again. I want to reach the bottom of the mines around the time I start making a lot more money, just to make sure I don't have to worry about the key to Skull Caverns. Oh, there's topaz, but I'm about to be swarmed. Can I do it? Run, 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 run. Level 80. I got a claymore. This looks like terrible choices. But entertaining terrible choices. Oh no, it's so painful. Okay, I will die if that hits me. We're leaving. Let's go fishing. My default land B on a rainy day. The lightning just hit my path. It's a rain fish. Oh no. <laughs> I feel so stupid. I really should have just looked that up. Watch that be the only thing I catch today. It, it, it's the legendary fish. <laughs> Great. Thanks. Thanks a lot. 
again? You couldn't, you couldn't give me normal fish? Treasure. It's one of the last things I need for the treasure hunters bundle. I need that and either an emerald or a diamond. So while I'm waiting for my barn to be built, let's go back to the mines to try to get a hold of one of those now that I'm pretty far down in it. A bundle, a barn, and a backpack upgrade? This is the episode of bees. I'm doing this for the bit. So I have enough gold to go get a barn. And all of my melons are done. I am going to keep three of them, uh, four of them, and sell the rest. Ooh, thanks for the money. So let's go get the barn and then go mining and see if I can get all of the different precious materials needed. Hi, Robin. Yes. Barn. I am just going to put it on the other side of this patch of grass from the coop. How about right here? Oh no. The speed downgrade on this is killing me. Between that and my pick. Diamond! Yes, that's exactly what I need. Bundle complete. Ooh, a lucky lunch. I'm going to save that for the first time I go to Skull Caverns. Oh, there's a quest. What do you want me to do? A super cucumber. Well, I can go try to fish one up for Emily. So that was a no. I cannot get a super cucumber tonight. Maybe tomorrow. Level four farming. Yes, I can finally make a preserves jar. That will be so nice. Ooh. Geologist, I want more gems. My barn is going. I did the bundle. I'm waiting for the maple syrup to make bees. I should make some more lightning rods today while it's storming to make sure that I can get as much as possible in the summer. I need to go try to get that super cucumber for Emily and start with farming. Nice, a gold star corn. So let's go fishing and do some talking to people, maybe some foraging on the way. Ooh, a Haley cutscene. Gotta love backhanded compliments. Jesus sleep. But we have a five heart friendship, finally. I think super, super cucumbers are at night, but it's worthwhile fishing all day anyway. I don't have anything else I have to do. You, you little... Eh. Another book. Majorly concerned that they just take the books that I find in the bottom of the ocean and put them back on the shelves. Okay, I have to go rush to the saloon before Emily leaves or it closes. Yes. Now, it's probably time for some more chores around the farm for the rest of the day. Now, I have two preserves jars, and you can go right here, you can go in there, and you can go in there. Dramatic. Level 7 fishing! Oh! It's this. So in terms of farm buildings, my next real goal is to upgrade my house so that I can start cooking my own food. It'll just be a lot more convenient if I don't have to rely on whatever I can find. But gathering all of that wood is going to take a while and trying to reach to the bottom of the mines with the pick I have is a exercise in frustration that takes way too long. So I'm going to work on upgrading that because I temporarily have more money than normal and only need it for one cow. I have enough copper, so let's go upgrade my axe and see if there's any more quests to do. <gasps> a cutscene! This is one of my least favorite cutscenes, but still a cutscene. I'm getting better at friendship. Like, the positive of this cutscene is that Penny learns from it. It's still just really annoying. Bodily autonomy extends to wheelchairs. 
there is a quest. So I guess we're going to the mines and upgrading this later. Hopefully I can actually find Jade this time, unlike last time somebody asked for Jade. Aquamarine? Nice, but not what I'm looking for. I was really hopeful for a second that that was Jade. No, it was just sap. I do not have enough energy to keep mining. Okay. So I am not getting hold of Jade tonight. Hopefully I can do it tomorrow. I swear Jade is the hardest thing for me to find. Ooh, level five combat. I'm going with Scout. I like critical chance. Oh, it's a good luck day. Hopefully, hopefully that means I can get Jade. And my barn is done. So today let's go get my cow and then go back to the mines and see if we can get a Jade before everything closes. And tomorrow will have to be the day for upgrading the pit. Oh, I'm so excited to go get my baby cow. And I think I know what I'm going to name it. Your name is Time. Hi, Time. You're so cute. Okay, mines. <laughs> it's such a good luck day that I got trapped in a corner. Oh, this is definitely going to go well. Jade! Oh my god, what? I'm going to go give this to Gus and see if I can also get to Clint to upgrade my pick. Cookies! Here's your Jade. Hi, would you like some cookies? Yes. Would you like a flower? Yes. Upgrade tools. Copper pickaxe. Let's do some foraging. Ooh, a spice berry. Multiple spice berries. You know what? There's a little bit of time left in today. Let's see if we can give these out as gifts. Jody, Leah. I love it when I know something is a good present. Abigail. Do not eat it. Shane. And Marnie. Oh, my forage is done. Which means, hey, I can give another round of gifts. Did it? It didn't give any seeds. Oh no. It's fine. I'll just save it. Maple syrup. This will be really funny. Okay, I need to do this. Okay, what can I craft? Can I craft a keg yet? No, I cannot. But you know what I can craft? A bee house. Oh, where will the best place put it be? Let's go up here for now. Out of the way. If I want to start working towards upgrades, I should probably start gathering materials now. So let's clear the farm for a while. Do some of like the random organization, recycling maintenance things, and then go give out a whole ton of presents. Organization. I'm just going to speed this part up. Weapons and things being saved for something specific are now in here. Anything from above ground is now in here. And anything from underground or trash is now in here. I'm going to turn one of you into jam and one of you into jam because I have a pretty good supply right now. Now let's go give out gifts before doing farm clearing. I don't want to risk it getting too late. Ooh, a quest. What is this quest? A rainbow trout. Sure, Clint, I will try to get a rainbow trout for you. Hi, Caroline. I finally got the tea cutscene. She sips it so delicately and I just chug it. So that's really exciting. I can now make tea saplings. Or tomorrow, I think I'll get the recipe. Now to give out more presents. Hello, would you like a flower? Yes. 
Would you like a flower? And you? And you? Would you like a flower? Yes. Would you like a flower? Yes. Sebastian just casually standing near the train tracks. Would you like a flower? Um, I, I'll take that as a no. Now to see if I can get a rainbow trout for Clint. Like I thought, no rainbow trout. So we will have to start out next time with trying to get that for Clint because I am afraid I have already gone longer than I technically should have just because I really wanted to make up the title. But hey, that was a productive additional day. Made, really worked on friendships a bit more. We currently have multiple five heart friendships and almost everybody has at least one heart with us. So that's really good. And we actually did a lot this episode without too much going wrong. We got a bundle done, finally upgraded my backpack so I'm not constantly running out of space just a lot of the time, did way too many quests on a timeline I didn't think was possible, and finally got the barn we've been working towards for multiple episodes now. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, I'd appreciate it if you could leave a like or a comment so that I could get a sense of what you liked, what you didn't like, and keep improving. Next time, I want to really start working towards completing the vault and make some building upgrades so that we can get more chickens and actually start cooking and going further into the game. Bye!